South Florida Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton and says she is ready to retire. The Republicans decision came as a surprise tonight. She's receiving support and praise from Republicans and Democrats. The Cuban born American has left quite a legacy over her years as a lawmaker. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Marijon is live in Southwest Miami Dade with our top story tonight. Leanne. And this is where Ileana Ross Layton has her office, her local office here in South Florida. A long storied career coming to an end in 2018. After 38 years holding public office, Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton says she is calling it quits. In a statement Sunday, she said in part, quote, I have been honored and humbled to serve our South Florida community for almost four decades. However, it is now time to take a new step. With the support of my husband, Dexter, and my children, I have decided I will not seek re-election in 2018. I was a no, I am a no, and I will vote no. The surprise move capping off a long career as a trailblazer, spending seven years in the Florida legislature before her election to Congress in 1989. Most recently, the 64 year old was reelected in November in Florida's 27th congressional district. Born in Cuba, she was the first Hispanic woman to serve in both the Florida House and Senate, the first Cuban American to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives, and the first female chair of a regular standing House committee. Ross Leighton authored the legislation that led to Florida's prepaid college program and is a staunch opponent of the Castro regime and other governments, she says support human rights abuses such as Venezuela. The violence is only on the government's side. She was a major player during the Elian Gonzalez saga, seen here bringing Christmas gifts for the boy in December of 1999. In 2014, Ross Layton went public with the fact that her son Rodrigo was transgender and has since come out in support of gay and transgender rights. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton. Even recording this bilingual public service announcement. We want kids, our kids to be um, healthy and accepted and safe. The GOP congresswoman was also an outspoken critic of President Donald Trump ahead of the 2016 election. News of Ross Layton's retirement receiving words of praise for the lawmaker from both sides of the aisle. And you can find some of the reaction from local and national lawmakers on our website, local10.com. Meanwhile, a news conference is set for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. where Ross Layton and herself will be announcing her retirement. And you bet Local 10 News will be there. For now, we're live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.